This year is the worst we've ever seen. There is so much melt over the summer that more than half the glaciers have lost all the snow they gained last winter, plus some from the winter before. And there's rocks sticking out everywhere. The melt back is phenomenal. When I started this game, we had 53 kilometres of ice. That's cubic kilometres, 53. We now have 30% less. And that's in the years, 40 years from 77 to today. One third of it has melted away. Once these glaciers are gone, we're not going to, like, we're not going to be able to catch these images again. Like, it's pretty much a, an archive for the future. And what we're trying to do is take hundreds or even thousands of photos of the glaciers and use it to make these three-dimensional models of the glaciers that we can actually measure really precisely what the glaciers are doing. A good way to put it is that these are the water towers for the southern part of New Zealand. If we go into a climate in the future where our precipitation changes, that's our storage, that's our bank. And we know that our Southern Alps glaciers are responding quite acutely to what's going on with air temperature and also um, by association the Tasman Sea um, sea surface temperatures. So this marine heat wave that we've had, that's very bad for the health of the glaciers. The conditions are so changeable um, and having expert guidance from the pilot, the conditions on the day to weave us in and out of cloud cover, that's really useful. Um, so we're really grateful to have such an experienced pilot like Andy with us. Yeah, it's an FLIR infrared camera, and we're hopeful that it might tell us something different that the, the still images cannot tell us. So we'd like to try to capture some of the principal properties of the lakes and the surrounding areas, and even the debris cover over some of our long trunk glaciers, like the, the Tasman. The glacier is the best climate change indicator you can use. It is everything in the climate that changes the volume of a glacier. You know, you can say what you want about temperature on the ground, but you can't make a glacier lie. I feel um, mixed emotions about it in many ways, and we often don't use that term emotion in science, but um, it is a bit emotional for, you know, if I put myself in Trevor's shoes, he's seen these glaciers during much better years, and they must be like seeing attrition of a child and for him because he knows them all intimately. Um, for me, I'm just getting started and I'm thinking, okay, he's handing the baton off. What's gonna happen and how are we gonna feel, you know, when we're his age, you know, will we remember something that, oh, do you remember when there was ice around this place? Or is it gonna be a, a different story with a different ending where we say, okay, we knew we had this problem. We actually did something about it and look at them coming back, you know? That would be a hope, you know, and I, I, I know it's a, it's a a slim hope at, at best, but um, that would be the hope is that we could do something about that.